Hello Painting with a Purpose friends. Today I'm going to show you how to paint a really neat rainbow tree. So the colors that you will need are black if you don't have a super dark brown, white, brown, red, blue, and yellow. We will be using our bigger flat brush, our smaller flat brush, and our medium size round brush today. Make sure that you have your cloth and your water bucket. All right, so to get started, we're going to start with our bigger flat brush and you're going to dip it in the white. And down at the bottom center, you're just going to do a white circle. And I know that you probably can't really see this, but you will see it in a minute. And it does not have to be perfect. We're going to make it uh, better when we add the next color. So this white circle, you can kind of see the paint on there, is just at the bottom center of your canvas. And again, it does not have to be a perfect circle. We'll make it a perfect circle with the next color. Go ahead and wipe that white off of your brush. And you're going to come in with yellow. Not a lot. This is when you're going to make that white circle pretty round. So you're just going to kind of outline where your white is. Round that white up with the yellow. And we're going to make a double layer yellow, just like so. Smooth all that yellow. Now, wipe the yellow off your brush. No need to rinse. And you're going to dip it back in that white. You're going to put half of the white in the yellow and you're going to put half of the white on the white and you're just going to go around that line. Then wipe it, get white on there again and do the other side. You're just going to kind of lighten the yellow, pull that white out, wipe your brush, Get a little more white on there. Just like so. So it kind of looks like a glow. All right, next we're gonna have our red. So I just wiped my brush, I didn't clean it. And I'm gonna skip a space between my yellow and red. And I'm going to make a red pass the width of my brush all the way around the yellow. Like so. Now remember I left that space in here. Smooth some of this red out. I'm going to rinse the red off my brush. Rinse it real good. And I'm going to put yellow back on it. And I'm going to put the yellow and run it in between this space. So some of the yellow is going to be on the red and some of the yellow is going to be on the yellow. And I'm just going to kind of blend that right there in between and you should get 
an orange color. Now I'm going to wipe my brush because I've picked up a lot of that red and I'm going to go back and get more yellow on there and I'm going to go back across that seam. So I still want to keep my yellow and I want to keep an edge of red but I want to have some orange in there. I'm going to do that one more time. I'm going to wash the red off my brush, get yellow on there, and go right back over that line split. Just like so. I'm going to come in now with just yellow on the yellow. I don't want to lose any of that yellow. Alright, so now I've got the white glow, yellow, a little bit of orange in here, and if you want more orange, just pull that yellow into the red. If you want a wider band of orange, then rinse it off. Next we're going to use our blue. And we're going to do the same thing that we did with the red. We're going to skip a space between our blue and red and we're going to do a band. Just like so. And my blue band is a little bit bigger than my red and that's totally fine. I'm going to rinse the blue off, wipe it in my rag, pull the rest of that color out, and I'm going to go back to my red. And I'm going to fill in my red, that space, you start to pick up the blue, wipe your brush for right now. We're going to make purple in a minute. You're going to have a purple in between that red and blue. So, you're going to be rinsing your brush, wiping it, going back to the red. Now that I've pulled in the blue, I'm going to start mixing this purple color into the blue. blue. I'm pulling the red into the blue and I'm getting that darker purple color which is what we want. I'm going to rinse that off my brush. I'm going to go back with the red and I'm going to come in here on the red and add some more red. I want to make sure that I'm keeping a red band. I'm keeping my yellow band, keeping my orange band, but I'm making a purple band. I'm going to rinse my brush. This time I'm not going to put any paint. And I'm just going to go across that red purple line and just do one pass to kind of clean up any edges, get the extra paint off, make sure I have a nice red band. I'm going to add a little more blue And you can always lighten your colors by adding white um, before you do this. So if you want more of a pastel looking lighter color rainbow, you can do that just by adding white to your colors before you start. Now, now that I've added more blue, 
I'm going to go back to the yellow. We don't have any green on this canvas. So I'm going to add some yellow. I'm going to skip a space between my blue and my yellow. And by now you should be to the top edge of your canvas. And we're going to leave just our corners white. Paint those sides and the top where the yellow band is. Okay? Just our corners are going to stay white and then the band between our blue and yellow will be white. All right, rinse your brush really good, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. And we're going to grab our yellow again, but we wanted to make sure that it's all nice and clean. And we're going to come in here right up next to our blue. And yellow and blue make green. So once we pick up that blue, we're going to start pulling that blue back up into our yellow. So now that we have a green band. Okay, we want to make sure that we're keeping our blue band. We're keeping a yellow band at the top. We don't want to totally get rid of our blue. We don't want to totally get rid of our yellow. Once you have a pretty good band, Go ahead and rinse your brush. This time I'm going to come in with a little bit of blue right along that green edge. And I'm pull a little more blue into the yellow. Not too far, not too much. Rinse your brush. Make one more pass along that blue green line with a clean brush like so. Now, rinse your brush again, get it all out, pull that color out. My water's looking pretty gro gross by now. Um, you may want to rinse your cup and get clean water, but now you're just going to take ye yellow, your yellow, and run it right along that green edge. Just to soften that blended green edge. Rinse the yellow off your brush and you're going to finish your corners with white. So wipe your brush, come in with the white on your corners, and we're going to blend our ends together. So you'll run your white right up to your yellow, and then with a clean brush, you're just going to blend that edge and soften that edge. So there was nothing on my brush. I'd rinsed my brush, I'd wiped my brush. I'm gonna do it again and I'll show you the other side. So rinse it really good, wipe it, and you're just gonna run your clean brush along that white and yellow edge. All right, now we have this beautiful rainbow background for our rainbow tree. When this dries, we will start on our tree. All right, now that our canvas is dry, we're going to start on our tree. So your tree is going to be down here at the center. Um, my glow is a little off center. That's totally fine. I'm still going to try to center up my tree. And I'm going to start with my medium round brush with brown. If your brown is not as dark as mine, mine's pretty dark. If yours is not as dark as mine, add a little bit of black to it and it'll darken it up. And I'm just going to start with the trunk of my tree. And there is the trunk of my tree. I'm just going to fill that in. And 
Now, my white isn't quite dry, but that's okay. It's picking up some of the white. Makes it look more like bark. And we're gonna go back in and add some black anyways. Get that bottom edge where your tree is. All right, now from this point, we're gonna add our first branch. So we're gonna start on the right hand side of our tree and we're just gonna follow this line on up and we're just gonna make a branch. And as it comes up, it gets smaller. So you put less pressure on your brush. And we're gonna kinda curve it around. This is gonna be a whimsical tree. And we're gonna do the same thing on the other side, but maybe this branch is gonna reach way up here and come down into our tree. So less pressure on your brush as you go out to get that nice skinny branch on the end. All right guys, so for some reason, when I was reviewing um, the video, apparently my feed had shut off and you did not get to see me make the branches. You just saw me kind of form the trunk and the first two branches. So I'm gonna kind of go over, I know this is already painted, but I'm gonna kind of go over on how you make the remainder of the branches. So as the branch comes into the tree, it gets bigger. So I'm pretty sure we did these two branches, this one and maybe this one. When you make a new branch, you're just gonna kinda come, as it goes away from the tree, it gets smaller. And as it comes into the tree, it gets bigger. And then you would kinda come in and fill in and make that branch wider at the base of the tree. So if we're gonna add a branch here, we're gonna add it up, make our branch line. As we come back into the tree, it's gonna get a little bit bigger. And we're gonna do this branch. So we'll do our line first. We're just gonna make a one line branch. And then as it comes back into the tree, we're gonna fill this in and make this bigger. So that the base of these branches are part of the trunk. And as a branch goes away from the tree, it gets smaller. So that's kind of how you do those branches. So you start with just by drawing one single line, lighten the pressure as you go out. That way the branch gets skinnier and then when you come back in, you're just gonna kind of build it together so that it thickens at the base of the tree. These other little branches, once you have your main branches, you just come off of those branches to kind of fill in the spaces, the empty spaces that you have. So in between this branch and this branch, I had lots of space. So I took my brown paint and from that branch, I made some smaller branches. Okay. And then from this branch, I had some space. This was the main branch right here. Um, I wanted to make it a little bit space filler down here. So I made another branch. All right. So when you're adding your branches, you gotta think about the space that you're filling. How many branches do you want on your tree? The more branches, the more whimsical, fun it's gonna look like. And you're just gonna fill in the space with their little branches. So I could even add 
another little branch right off of this branch and come up and fill this space. I could even come up here and off of this branch and add another little branch to kind of come in and fill that space. And it would run right off my can canvas. So that's how you add and build your tree with branches. I do apologize for the video cutting off. Um, we're also gonna need to add some black through here to darken up our tree. So once you have your branches the way that you want them, without the dots, obviously, um, you're just gonna come in here and add some black. You want the majority of the black to stay in the lower part of the branches and in the trunk. You can pull some of that black up through the branches. You're just following your branch line. And then if you get too much black, if it gets too dark, you can always go back over it with that brown. And it'll lighten up that black and it'll just make like a darker brown. So add some black in there. Again, it's mainly through the trunk and the lower branches. But you can definitely add some black up through some of your branches. And then if it's too dark, go back over it with brown. So I do apologize for my feed shutting off. Um, I hope that this helps just by me going over what I have already done. Um, and then the circles, I didn't add a lot. I would probably go back in and continue adding more circles. So fill it up um, with circles. All right guys, we are just making dots and I've mixed up some green and purple and orange. If you want a bigger dot, you're gonna use your flat brush. If you want a smaller dot, you're going to use your little round brush. I'm gonna mix up some pink now. So I'm gonna take some red and white make some pink dots so for a bigger dot you are using your flat brush and then for the smaller dots we will use our round brush. Now again, you can leave this tree with absolutely no dots. You can go crazy and add a ton of different rainbow color dots. Any color of paint that you have. It's completely up to you. This is our rainbow tree with lots of dots or no dots. Let's see, I've got pink and purple. Let's do some plain yellow. Remember, when you're adding dots, you don't want to add, so I'm going to add some yellow dots, but I'm not going to put it where the yellow is because my dot, it won't show up. But I can come up here and put a really cool yellow dot. And when that dries, I can do another layer and it'll be even brighter. It does not matter where you put these dots. 
add as many or as little dots as you want. You can also layer dots. So I might take some white using the plastic part of my paintbrush and add another little dot in some of these other dots. Or I might take some pink that I have made up and put in the center of a dot. So it's really up to you. This is just a really fun, whimsical tree. You can spend all day literally adding dots to your tree. Like I said, you can add as many or as little as you want. Completely up to you what you want to add. layer your dots, keep adding dots. The more dots you add, the better it might look. Or like I said, you can just have a plain tree with this amazing rainbow glow in the background. I think I'm going to add some plain blue dots. I want to add them where the blue is. I want to be able to see them. And I'm going to take the blue and I'm going to lighten it. So I'm going to take some white. I'm going to lighten this. A light blue. So now that I have a different color of blue, I can add that light blue in the blue band if I want to or if you want to. I think I'm going to lighten my purple and make it even lighter purple color. And then I'm going to come in here and add some lighter purple. I'm going to get my small brush and add a few light purple small dots, maybe right here. <laughs> Maybe right here. I need a dot right here. There's a really big one. Alright guys, so it's completely up to you how many dots you keep adding. Um, layering the dots upon dots, you can add a three color dot. So I would come in here if you wanted to add a three color dot, maybe come in here with a little bit of white and add another layer of, uh, so you have three colors in one dot. It's kind of fun. So it's completely up to you. 
show me your amazing rainbow tree pictures. I'd love to see them. I hope you had fun painting with me. Um, check back to YouTube, our YouTube channel. We post all kinds of different stuff all the time. Happy painting!